This is my sister! She shot! And this... This is my show! Can't wait to do that again tomorrow. I don't know, Patrick. Our robot gorilla put us way over budget. There won't be a show tomorrow unless we can come up with some more money. Aw, and I wanted tomorrow's episode to be in CG! Aww. <laughs> Sorry, CG Patrick! Uh -huh. Hey, sis, what you up to? Well, right now I'm trying to book an imaginary app for your imaginary TV show. Well, how's it going? They said their imaginary people are going to call my imaginary people. <laughs> okay, camera one is good to go. <laughs> Happy hunting, and remember, don't come home empty-handed. Your entire Patrick Show audience is watching! Huh? Oh. oh, don't mind me. I always enjoy a good failure. <laughs> oh. oh, boy! This camping trip is gonna make the most exciting episode of The Patrick Show yet! Uh oh. Just imagine a sea star versus the elements, a TV host versus oh. the wild! It's kill or be killed! Eat or be eaten! Oh, I can eat! And eat you shall! You'll be living off the land! That's why we're bringing only the bare essentials! A compass! A flint and tinder! Some twine! And a change of underwear! Phew! Just in time! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. but, 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 whoa there! You kids can't bring all that! We can't? Of course not! I could only afford the extra huh? mega jumbo size RV. Oh, this baby is so chock full of color TVs and king size beds, there won't be any room for that bun! Got it. I already have my dream job, producing the Patrick Show. Oh, that show's a hoot. The big guy is so dumb. Come on, brother. It's time to start the show. <laughs> These kids are going bananas. How are we going to keep them safe? I'm on it. What's safer than a safe? Patrick? <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll try a play pad. Hey, let's do a show aimed at kids. Great! I'll get the crossbow. Uh, maybe start with a song instead? You did it, Algie! We're saved! I was wrong! Tragedy can strike at any moment! Sis, I think some sort of sockadactyl took me to its house. Huh? Ooh, looks like it's lunchtime. <laughs> Tastes like argyle. Oh, wait, a sockadactyl? Patrick, I don't think you're in the couch anymore. I think you've broken through to a dresser. Don't worry, big brother. I promise I'll find you. Cool, you do you. I'm gonna keep looking for the remote. <sighs> Morning. Ah! Patrick, how's the old creative process going? Terrible! I've been spinning all morning and I've still got nothing. I'm sure you'll come up with a neat show idea, like... <laughs> well, looks like we're doing another ice cream show. <laughs> oh, you're just playing in the neighbor's yard. Thank Neptune. No. Oh. oh, no! while we lick your feet. Trick or treat. Exactly. <laughs> Baba back, and there's someone at the door. I'm handling it, mother. What do you want? Trick, Trick or, or treat. treat. Ooh, I choose treat. <laughs> Remove that pan if you want to keep it, Buster. Now give us some Halloween candy. The only holiday I celebrate is the Show City Comic Convention. There's no candy for you here. Sure there is! <laughs> it's kind of stale, though. Ah! My physics mermaid fan and barnacle boy collect his candy! How <laughs> about you? Thousands of dollars of corn syrup down the drain! Ah! Oh, sorry. I'll give it back. <laughs> <laughs> so close to candy, I could almost taste it. Shrimp <laughs> sauce! The babies are playing in traffic! Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Welcome to the wild world of baby fishing. Today, I'll teach you how to be an angler of little angels. For a steelhead toddler, you want to use a tufted nappy. <laughs> now with a big mouth babbler, the twisted teething ring is the way to go. Of course, for the wily rainbow moppet, all you need is a number four pacifier. <laughs> No monster! 
And that's Great. my daughter! Squidina? Oh, thank goodness! I could really use another change of underwear! <laughs> my daughter is the monster! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Please, Squidina, you can't eat my boy. He hasn't experienced the world yet. Yeah, eat he, Dad. He's experienced enough. Oh, I don't want to eat either of you. I was just <clears throat> trying to show you my survival <clears throat> shelter. Ooh. So, sis, if you just wanted to show us your shelter, how come you were making all those scary noises? I was speaking isopod. <laughs> After I met them in the woods, I spent the next several minutes learning their language, assuming their manner of dress, and becoming their leader. With their help, I was able to build the shelter of my dreams. Now this is how you rough it. <laughs> I declare Squidina the winner of Toughen It Out! Here, here. <laughs> Welcome back to the show! Now we're going to make a casserole! Well, let's see, we got socks, dirty sneakers, dried leaves, old paper packs, and used napkins. Hmm. You gotta work with what you got. Cook at 1,000 degrees for one second. It's ready! Time to wrap it up. The story characters and names were trained in this production are suspicious, especially mine. No person associated with this show received anything of value, especially me. No one was harmed in the making of the show, except me. Ouch. Thanks for watching. That was amazing! The song! The treasure roll! The whole number with the cast of thousands! <laughs> I don't remember that at all. I don't know how you do it. Oh, I don't know what I do it. I bet you worked up an appetite. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> quicker heads! <laughs> I remember those from my pagan days. Boy, were they itchy. for doing such an excellent job watching our little monster uh, I mean little darlings We did it we made enough money to do tomorrow's episode Yay Eight hours from now I could do my solid gold diaper show <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hey, Patrick. I don't want any more jobs. They're too much work. I have found my true purpose. Doing my TV show. Really? Then what do I do with this? Let me go, you little... Hey, watch your language. This is a family show. The end is so itchy. 